you know, I'm just not interested in putting a property under contract to buy, and I have no idea. <laughs> I have no idea where the money's going to come from. If you're a real estate investor and are wondering how to raise and leverage private money to make more profit on every deal, then you're in the right place. On Raising Private Money, we'll speak with new and seasoned investors to dissect their deals and extract the best tips and strategies to help you get the money, because the money comes first. Now here's your host, Jay Connor. I, I, my guess is the majority of everybody here has heard this, particularly if you've been to another real estate investing seminar, and that is you've heard some educator out there say, oh, just get the deal under contract. Just get the house under contract. The money will show up. And I want to throw up when I hear somebody says the money's going to show up if you just get the deal under contract. I see Carl, I see Carl, you know, doing this. Carl, have you heard anybody else say that? Oh, it happened to me, my friend. And <laughs> the money, the money did not show up. Show up. up. <laughs> it's like, I mean, it's like, it's like, is the money gonna like rain out of a cloud? You know? When you know, Carl, I was, I was um, don't go anywhere, Kelly and Becky. I'm coming back to you. Carl, I was a guest on a podcast uh, sometime recently, and the host, <laughs> Claire, says, thank you, been there, done that. I just want to throw up. Anyway, I was a guest on a podcast. Yeah, it comes by osmosis, right? There you go, Winfred. I was a guest on a podcast, and the podcast host and I were having this conversation, and I, and I said to the host, I said, let me ask you a question. Why in the world would an educator lie? Why would an educator just lie, flat out lie to you and say, oh, just get the deal under contract. The money's going to show up. And the podcast host says, Jay, I can tell you why they tell you that. Because they're selling you a course on how to get a house under contract. You know, <laughs> and I said, oh, okay. Well, I, I guess that makes sense. But um, yeah, so anyway. For goodness sakes, that's why, that's why, um, that's why I teach, practice, and preach, and you all can fill in the blank. The money comes first, first right? Yeah. Yeah. The money comes first. And what I mean by that is you focus on getting the money lined up first. You just said it, uh, Kelly. You and Becky were like walking on air. When you got that first private lender that's ready to go, ready to fund a deal, and it's like you're walking on air because you know where the money's coming from, right? right? Yes. You know where the money's coming from, and it's like, I mean, were you a little bit more confident in making an offer after you knew where the money was coming from? It's, Huge. It's Huge. a lot easier to look, look and shop for a house when you know you have money to pay for it. <laughs> it's, like, it's like you know i'm just not interested in putting a property under contract to buy and i have no idea <laughs> i have no idea where the money's gonna come from so kelly and becky tell your story where did you find that first private lender you know how did you find them how did you tell them about the opportunity and then tell us about the first deal that they funded so our first private lenders mostly came from one-on-ones, just talking to people, telling them about the program, telling them what the opportunities are. Um, and the program really sells itself because you're right. People are really looking for a place to put their money where it's secure. They don't have to um, worry about what their return is on anything where it's going up and down. And um, our first private lenders, uh, came from just one on ones. We so we did have so tell so tell everybody a little bit more detail. What do you mean when you say they really like the program? What do you mean by the program? Your private 
ours, yours and ours private lending program where they um, are investing in real property. It's secured by a house. They have a note and a mortgage back to them for the property. That's, that's really attractive. And that constant rate of return that is offered on their money where they know exactly how much they're going to get, however often they choose to get it, they know that that is going to be um, their return for that investment. Yeah. So when we say return, I mean, program, what you're saying is it's what we're offering to the lender to give them high rates of return safely and securely. Yes, yeah. exactly. And, and the way that you put it together, Jay, is that um, you're solving their problem with your private lender program. I mean, that's it. And that's how uh, our interaction with others have been. They're excited about uh, the program and uh, after we've explained it to them. And so you said a moment ago, Becky, that uh, your first private lender program came from one-on-ones. Tell everybody what that means. What's a one-on-one? Just talking to your your friends, family, people that you know, introducing yourself. People ask what you do, and you can tell them uh, that you teach investors how to make high rates of return safely and securely on their um, investment capital. Yeah, and it's from our warm market, and yeah. uh, you know we. Um, when we recorded our um, CD with you, um, we had a phone call within two minutes after we got off that, and uh, they jumped right on in. And, uh, you know, Becky's been working for the same company for 36 years. And so those people that work with her are very interested um, in uh, doing business with her because they've known her for so long, you know. Now, was that the uh, the webinar that we recorded together? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah, that's very powerful. Yeah, those webinars that we do together with Platinum Plus members really, really does bring in the money for the funding. So uh, so was uh, were you related? Are you related to that first private lender? Or is it a friend? Was it a co-worker? What's the relationship? How did y'all know each other? A friend. Yep. A friend. Yep. And, uh, you know, but since then, um, we've, we've got quite a few private lenders now, and uh, some of them are co-workers, some of them are family friends, um, and, uh, you know, the word is kind of getting out, and we have another private luncheon uh, that we're going to do here in August. Awesome. How much money did that first private lender, that friend, um, pledge to loan to you? 75,000. 75,000. Like the auctioneer said, well, that's 75,000 more than I had when he got that bid, right? <laughs> so that deal that he funded, uh, how much you how much are you profiting or did you profit on that first deal approximately? Uh, that one is going to be a profit. We haven't closed the sale on that one yet. Uh, that profit is going to be about 80,000. 80, nice. Everybody give Becky and Kelly the sophisticated PMA golf clap right there. 80 grand. Are you feeling inspired by the knowledge you gained in this episode? Then head over to jconner.com slash money guide. That's jconner.com slash money guide and download your free guide that shares seven reasons why private money will skyrocket your real estate investing business right now. Again, that's jconner.com slash money guide to get your free guide. We'll see you next time on Raising Private Money with Jay Conner.